y'all. Welcome to episode 13 of Quick Card Tuesdays here at Rice and Crafts. For a list of supplies and measurements, check the information bar below for a link to my blog. So let's get started. Um, I'm going to be making a birthday card, and I'm using um, La La Land Crafts uh, Digi Stamp. This is Cowboy Luca, and I just colored him with my Prismacolor markers and cut him out. I made the my sentiment here using, I think it's Microsoft Word, or yeah, I think that's what it is, on my computer. I just inserted the shape of the banner and then wrote in, Happy Birthday Cowboy. Um, I'm using some paper from Die Cuts with a View. And to get the clouds, all I did, it's a 12 by 12 paper pack. I just cut it down to four and a half. And then when I got done and I cut it to the size I needed, I just cut the clouds out from the top, just fussy cut them out to add to the back to the page. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my stamping and I'm going to go ahead and do the inside stamping. Um, I'm using some, sorry, excuse me. I'm using some birthday stamps from Paper Tray Ink. It's the inside and out. Um, birthday set, um, I'm sorry, Inside and Out Birthday Volume 4. I got that for Christmas, so I'm still playing with it. Having lots of fun with it. And I'm going to use some Danube Blue Memento ink. And I'm just using it in the dewdrop form. I'm just going to wipe up this little bit of ink I've got smeared around here. And I probably shouldn't wipe that on my fingers, but... I already did. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp that. And I've got this birthday stamp that is also in that same set that I inked up. Or that I'm going to ink up. I've got to grab a baby wipe to get this ink off of my block so I don't accidentally transfer it to my card. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the happy birthday underneath the sentiment itself. And I'm going to go ahead and clean my stamps off quick. If I do it at the time that I stamp then I remember to do it and they get done. Otherwise, I tend to let them sit around for a while and I'm trying to get out of that habit. Okay, so I'm going to pull in the rest of my card and I'm going to start by just adhering my clouds. And I'm just going to adhere these to the top of this page here. And they should line up pretty good since it came off the same piece. Alright. And I'm just going to adhere my pattern paper to my cardstock here. And then I'm going to adhere both of those layers the front of my card base. There we go. And I'm going to put the inside together nice and quick. And I'm just going to layer that white piece to another powder blue piece, or light blue. I don't know that that's necessarily powder blue, but... And I'm just going to 
protect that guy on the inside there. All right. Now I'm going to grab Luca here. And he is going to come down here and be just under... Or just on top of, I guess, the, the grass there. And I'm just going to grab some of these homemade pop dots I did. All I did was ran a piece of fun foam through my Xyron sticker maker. And I'm really liking these because I don't have any backing I have to pull off. And that makes me a very, very happy person. Makes for a much quicker card process, too. Okay. So now I'm just going to line these up. I'll just push him down. And I, now I have to decide if I want to mat this on a piece of this powder blue or if I just want to put the happy birthday on there. And I'm thinking I might just do happy birthday yeah I'm going to and I'm just going to use a little snail and I'm just going to kind of angle that right there on the front of our card and that is our card for today thanks for stopping by I'll see y'all next time